Hi, I'm Dave from BoinaBand.com, and welcome to day six of the seven day song on liquid drum and bass. Yesterday, in day five, I taught you how to make some spacey piano and sampled strings. Today, I'll be teaching you how to arrange a conventional liquid drum and bass song, as well as adding in some effects to add that audible cherry on top of your track. So, let's start with the arrangement. As you can see, I've gone ahead and arranged the track, just so you didn't have to sit through me copying and pasting a bunch of sections. I'll go through what I've done now. First, I've got this 64 bar intro here, between the L and R points. For a chilled song, you'll want a nice long build up. The start is just purely drums there, just for the DJ to mix it in. But from when the pads kick in here onwards, it starts getting progressively more chilled with the bass kicking in and later on we've got the piano coming in there as well. Then we've got the main section. It kicks in in earnest, modulating a little just before it with this uh, filtered strings that we did in day five. And if we zoom in, we can see that we've got a new bass part here. And just to keep it interesting, it changes every 16 bars. For the first 16 bars, you've got these strings as the focus. Then it brings in these two leads, the summer port and the hollow synth. Then it drops the strings out for 16 bars, focusing on the piano. And for a culmination, it modulates back in with the strings as well as the piano simultaneously. So it's a mesh of gorgeous sound by that point. The extra percussion comes in halfway through as well for those last 32 bars, just to build it up a bit more. Next, we've got a 32 bar breakdown here, kicking into the breakout. The percussion is removed and the bass and the pads just carry it through with a slight reference to the tempo from the echoing out crash we've got down here, which I'll come to in part two. Then there's a piano phrase, which comes in halfway through that, followed by a small drum build up if we have a look here. We can see it's the kick sped up. Crash, bongo fill, snare, and back in. Then it crashes into the second main section, which is pretty much the same as the first one. Still 64 bars long, nice and chilled. I've put in an extra little fill. As you can see, there's only the one in the first section, but that's about the only difference. With liquid, you can get away with a lot of repetition, since it's not really meant for vast amounts of crazy awesome fills. It's more the pretty sound relaxing the listener, and repetition is a great way to do that, especially with the percussion. And then the last part is just a 32 bar outro we've got here, quite simply just stripping down the parts so the DJ can mix it into the next tune. As you can see, there's a, a great deal of consistency going through here, especially with the bass, the glassy lead and the atmosphere just going all the way through the tune there. The lead is very quiet, so it doesn't quite interfere with the other leads. It's just there to add a bit of sparkle to the track. But the nice prominent undertone of those pads and bass will help the listener to relax. We can also see down here that I've added in a bunch of effects, and these really fill out the track. So join me in part two, where I'll be showing off those effects.